What I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. A few moments later. So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. How? I need to know how. Somebody call Jim Jones. Hi, my name is Reese Waters and I'm troubled. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page. Hey, CNN. Yeah. Uh, let me let me holler at you. Let me holler at you for a second. So so first you hit us this week with the Jasmine Crockett interrogation. Yeah, and I hear that. But <laughs> she went after your appearance and then yeah. like you went out like you went back at her a thousand fold. I, I, I did as a in a very lawyerly way. But I do did. you Obviously, she started it. I'm not disputing that. But yeah. do you regret that at all? When you described Green in this request for clarification as a bleached, blonde, bad-built, butch body, which I had to look at my notes to read, um, any regret? And now this. So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Here I am minding my own black business, and I see Cameron is trending next to Diddy. And that would be extremely disappointed because I will first of all tell you that I am a Cameron fan. And when you see anybody that you are a fan of trending next to Diddy, that can never be good. And guess what? This wasn't. But the reason why I'm a fan of Cameron is because this is the man who once said, quote, and the same brother that you knew came through in the rain, same color as you who, now you know that's the same color as doo-doo. I'm the shit, call me Pepe La Poo Poo. That's art. That's art. That is art right there. Not to mention the fact that he popularized all pink everything. He wore pink, he wore purple, and that really spoke to me as somebody who never had the most expensive clothes. I never had the name brand stuff. I would just get the stuff that was left over at Marshalls and Ross. And quite often, that was some very weird colors. That was some very weird colors. Like I never got the first choice of colorway. It was a lot of, lot of pink and greens and like yellows and oranges and things like that. He made me feel seen. He made me feel seen. I was such a fan. I was willing to lie for them and say that they beat the locks and that versus in that. That might be the biggest lie I've ever told in my life. So, so I am a fan, but what the hell was this? Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video was egregious. I'm against... Uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against him. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. Okay, so we're off to a solid start. That was a very long preamble, but, but a solid start just to get that out of the way at the beginning of the interview. But did, did you recognize as as everything him? I just said, did you recognize right. that I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know him like that. What do you mean? Do I be recognized? Did I recognize him? I seen him. What do you mean? My experiences? I seen him and I thought I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him. So yeah, it was him. Why is this contentious? I I, I need I need to understand why 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 is this contentious already? Like you you are you are here talk about Diddy and you seem to be reacting angrily that you're being asked about Diddy. Did you know you were here to talk about Diddy? What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Ain't me for this, the apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what, I, what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to, need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you how I feel, I said what I said. Okay, there's some truth to that, that what Cassie thinks of the apology is the most important, but you 
are the one who's on television right now and we're asking you what you think so anything at all would be helpful i want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in september with mace mm-hmm. listen yeah when you had your mm, record that's... deal why did you take me to biggie smalls and not um, bad boy man it's almost gonna bring me to tears to say this i just being that i saw you as as such a good friend i wanted to put you with somebody i knew with Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram, yeah, I knew man. Don't have me just out here crying yeah, and shit, it. man. I don't instantly want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would, would do right by you. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there, um, is there something known in the industry about how did he... Tr- man, did you just take a drink out? This interview is like three minutes. Um... Is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Why, Cam? Why? Why? Now, if you weren't giving this interview, on this topic at this time, it would have been disrespectful to say that to a woman who's interviewing you and especially problematic to say it to a black woman. Don't we always like to protect black women? And there are a lot that have this kind of platform and this is what you bring to her platform. Then you add on top of that, you just said. What I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, Everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against them. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. But literally two minutes later. Um, Is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. How? I need to know how. Somebody call Jim Jones. Somebody call Jim Jones, Joel Santana. I need to understand how this is even possible. How is this even possible that it didn't occur to you that might not be the move? At no point, at no point, Cam, were you like, you know what? I clearly didn't know they were going to come up and ask me about Diddy. But since they asked me about Diddy, let me go ahead and not go with the horsepower. You know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna call Audible. You freestyle. I have seen you freestyle on Rap City and murder it. I know you can freestyle. And I know you got media training because you got your own show. You couldn't call an Audible and to say, you know what, this is the Diddy interview. I ain't gonna go with the horsepower. Next, Next time, next time I'm going with the horsepower. Next interview I have, I don't care if it's at the White House, I'm going with the horsepower. But I can't do it, I can't do it to my sister. We here talking about Diddy out of respect for the women. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there, but for me to tell you mm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. Now, I'm not actually mad at that, uh, that he just um, pushed his show. He obviously has pushed his, his horsepower. Was that why you showed up here today? Was that was that why you showed up, Cam? Because obviously you didn't come here to give a good interview. And while we're on the topic, she would have been well within her rights, Abby Phillips, to end this interview the moment he said Cheeks. I mean, really, the moment he said cheeks, typically, typically, I feel like if the word cheeks come out in an interview, you at that point, you have the ability to end the interview. I'm not mad at her for continuing. I actually think she did as good a job as she possibly could to try and ask him something to extract something decent 
out of this time that was spent. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that invited me to. Yo, who? Yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. Oh, wow. And I'll be Cameron. sitting around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. I just want you to look at her face. I just want you to look at her face. I just want you to look. I, I, have, I have seen that face. I've been met with that face. I have had that face. That is the face that we give to one another when you have disappointed the ancestors with your antics, when you have made people look at me sideways because of how left you just went, that is that face. They said they never gave you niggas money. Now, as far as for what Cam said in the end, uh, he expressed complete shock and dismay that he was there to talk about Diddy. Now, there's a possibility he didn't know he was there to talk about Diddy, and he just shows up and is disappointed, thinking that he was there to talk about something entirely different and was there to talk about Diddy. That is a real possibility. It's also a possibility they told him he was there to talk about Diddy, and he disregarded it or forgot or generally doesn't care and pay attention to what these interviews are about. He's just going to come and be Cam. Also a real possibility. We, we don't know, so we can't speculate as to what the truth of the matter was. However, what I do know is that this man has a show. He has been famous for over two decades. He got media training. OK, don't 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 give me this. Don't give me this. You put him in a spot and he was unprepared. The man has media training. I don't give me that. No, 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 no. Don't give me. How many shows has this man? How many shows has this man performed? Y'all going to give Cam some more credit. Now, y'all going to put some respect on his name. And by putting respect on his name, it's holding him even more responsible for what he just did. OK, once the man shows up, assuming he doesn't know he's there to talk about Diddy, you can say, you know what? I'm not normally here on CNN. I have a show that I can push. I can give me a couple of information. I don't know a whole lot about Diddy, but I can I can glad hand, you know what I mean? I can freestyle and segue on over to things that I would rather talk about. That's well within his capabilities to do. But he just decided he's gonna let the whole interview go left, drink his horsepower, and say he got some cheeks after this. Now that makes me wonder whether or not this wasn't entirely the point in the first place. Was that the point, Cam? It feels like it was the point. Now, you did say something in your explanation that I felt like was worth watching. Yeah, no, they invited me on the show to talk about uh, what's going on with Diddy and all that. And then my my thing about it was, May stat is that they didn't invite me on to say about how successful our show is or the positive stuff we do in the community, how every day, five days a week, Mace talks to kids on a Zoom call. Mace doesn't even promote this. I'm going to promote this for Mace. Is that every day at 5 o'clock, it don't matter what's going on, what's happening, um, where he's at. It, does, it could be money involved. It could be a photo shoot. It could be whatever. He stops what he's doing to talk to kids around the world about being positive and um, doing what they believe in and so on and so forth. And to the point where, you know, one day he was at my house and he told me, Kim, you can't make no noise. Don't come in. I'm not playing with you. Like, that's how serious. <laughs> no, but seriously, that's how serious he takes what he does. And we do all these positive things. And you call me on CNN for the bullshit. I'm going to give you the bullshit. That's, that's just what's going to happen. <laughs> so we got some free promo. I, I tease the pink horsepower. Uh, they tried to bring up when Mace... Uh, Bought me the biggie instead of puff, and I say, yeah. If you seen it, what you asking me about it for? Like, nigga, it was self-explanatory. So I, I got us some free promo. I didn't get to shout out to Dipset Couture. Make sure you go <laughs> online to <laughs> dipsetcouture.us to order some shirts and everything else. But yeah, I just felt that you tried to use me. Pause. Now Cam is right. Cam is a thousand percent right. They don't give us the acknowledgement and oftentimes they act like we are beneath their platform. You are 100% correct in that regard. How are you going to get there from here 
when the footage they have of you is you drinking the horsepower. I, that's, you know what I mean? Like, how you gonna get there from here? How you gonna get there from here? Next time something positive happens, you think, hey, who should we bring on to talk about this? Well, you remember that dude that drank the horsepower? You remember the dude who drank the horsepower? Yeah, that was good. He, he, yeah, let's, let's, bring, let's bring him in and talk about what's going on positive in the community. Which brings me to my next point. You had to know in the conversations whether or not to bring Cameron on air that Abby Phillips had to sign off on that. She had to sign off on that. I don't know that it was her idea. Certainly it wasn't her idea to communicate about Diddy, but she had to sign off on that. Okay, I don't know how hard she pushed it. I don't know if she's a Dipset fan as I was, but she had to sign off on that. And how's that going to go for her next time she tries to bring somebody of Cam's ilk onto the show after it just went that way? As far as CNN is concerned, I don't know whether there was a failure in communication with Cam or whether or not you decided, you know what, let's just go to hell together. Let's get Cameron. We know he has a history of doing this. Let's go to hell together. Oh, oh, y'all, y'all didn't know Cam got history? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't his cable news. This ain't his first cable news rodeo. You it's, hurt children. How do you hurt children by promoting to be an entrepreneur and a CEO and to do right? You're looking at a for, principal. For example, for example, yeah, you yeah, called called it. Called it. Why you're, you're looking, looking at, at a principal. Why you don't want to let him talk? You mad? You mad? You mad? You mad? You're mad. Where'd you get? From? Where'd you start? Covering the fear, right? No, wrong. Well, you're you looking, you're looking I got at a dirt man. on you, doggy. Camera, get I'm going to get at you in a minute. You go ahead, you get at I'm going to get at you in a minute. Let's keep it I am mad. I am mad. You know why? Because now you and Mace aren't going to get the acknowledgement that you should be getting from the establishment in the first place. And you disrespected a black woman on her show while trying to make the point that women need to be protected. How does that make any sense, Cam? And I will also tell you this. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. That hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you.